Hey guys, welcome back to candle review number three of the day. If you missed it from earlier, I did upload two Bath & Body Works candle reviews a little bit earlier, uh, but both the Mixed Berry Crumble as well as the Cranberry and Apple Tart. Sorry, I was trying to remember the names of those two. Um, but for today's third and final review, we are going to be discussing Basil Leaf and Apple which I thought was a brand new fragrance to Bath & Body Works for this summer, but I'm actually now remembering I had this one back when it was in a hand soap. I think that that is how this one originally released, and it was in that like neutrals hand soap packaging last year, and um, that is kind of why I feel like it smelled familiar, but um, I really like the fragrance there, and so when I smelled it in stores this summer, I didn't, rec I didn't like immediately go like I love this fragrance. It was more of a thing though where I was like this will be a good transitional fragrance. I really like apple as a kind of more into fall fragrance because I think it works in late August and September. I love apple in September um, and it just really is a good fragrance because it's a little bit fruity so it's got like the summer vibes but then obviously apple is perfect for fall so I just think it's a really good one to kind of get you in the fall mood even if it's still a little bit warm outside and so that's kind of why I specifically specifically went for this one and then obviously it does have the basil herbal leaf note so um I feel like that was also kind of like a good summary note as well so uh yeah I'm really excited to chat about this one I will link it down below if you're interested definitely check that out um but yeah let's go ahead and get right into it first off the packaging here very pretty I like this packaging it's got a beautiful kind of like circle apple floral vine around the label and then the rest is just a pretty green color and then the fragrance notes on this one read crisp apple fresh picked basil and morning dew and it says that it smells like a late summer garden that's ready for harvest so obviously the main note in this one is the apple this is definitely a very sweet apple i would say it's a very crisp apple um, I can't really tell you which type of apple it is, to be honest, because I'm honestly not that great at like determining is it Macintosh, you know, golden, like which type of apple it is, but it definitely smells like a really nice, sweet summer apple. Um, you do also get some of that basil in here. The basil is a very fresh herbal basil and the apple and the basil just work really well together. And I do feel like that basil just kind of gives it like that more summery vibe again. I think maybe if it were just the apple, it would be a little bit too much fall smelling. But for some reason, like herbs like basil just remind me of like late summer and like a summer garden. And I think with the basil being added in here, it helps this one to be really great for the summertime but um there's like no spice in here so if you didn't want like a sweet apple check this one out it's not spicy or anything like that it does also say morning dew which is interesting because it does kind of have this like fresh morning airiness to it it is just a little bit like ozone-y in a way um i feel like this one reminds me a lot of the crisp morning air which if you guys remember that scent i don't know if it even comes out in a candle but it's in a hand soap and i feel like this smells really similar to it where it's like an apple um and then like an herbal and then like a dewy smell and obviously morning dew is very similar to crisp morning air so i feel like this fragrance it might be like the same oil that they use in that one so if you're a fan of that one i think you will definitely like this one but um yeah overall it's nothing like extraordinary but it just smells like a really nice like basil um and then apple scent also if you like that charcoal and apple one i think that was last year i feel like this also smells quite similar to it i've definitely smelled this type of scent at bath and body works before um it's definitely been around but um it's just still a great scent and i'm really enjoying this one for the end of summer getting into fall all right, so that is my thoughts on the fragrance. Let's go ahead and discuss the burn and performance on this one. And I can probably say, this has been the best performing candle that I've had from Bath & Body Works out of these three. And it's honestly probably one of the best performing, I guess just like not even as much to strengthen the throw, but just like the burn has been flawless. This one has my favorite type of wicks, which are these skinnier wicks that do form like a mushroom top and you do have to trim them, but they're not like the thick ones or the ones that will get puny. They burn perfectly all the way down to the bottom. I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and look at them. 
Obviously, you can see these wicks are very much alive. They're very much there, but they're like thinner and stand up. They don't get super, um, you know, like stubby or anything like that. They just burn great. Uh, clearly, the burn has been good. I have not gotten any dirtiness, sootiness, nothing like that. It's just been a very clean, flawless burn. Um, there is just a little bit of residue in the wax right there, but it's not bad. I'm not really worried about that. But um, yeah, overall, this has burned great for me so far. And then in terms of strength and throw for this one, it does pretty good. I get like a solid medium. I wouldn't say this one is a powerhouse or anything. Um, I would put it right at about probably a six and a half, seven, which is kind of right as a medium, I guess. I feel like compared to other Bath & Body Works fragrances, I guess you could say this one's on the lighter end because I do feel like with Bath & Body Works, I normally get somewhere between like a seven, seven and a half, eight even sometimes like an eight and a half or a nine but um this one's definitely right around like that six and a half which is pretty good for me it does travel um it does fill up the room that it's in i've mostly burned this in the kitchen i feel like because it does have that apple and herbal smell for me i've just personally really enjoyed this in the kitchen and i think it's a great one to light up for when you're cooking there are just certain fragrances where i really enjoy them if we're having like a meal it just like really works well with the smell and this seems to be that type of fragrance i've normally noticed it's with like herbal fragrances that i really like to have those burning when we're cooking dinner and this has been a great one for that so um yeah overall I've really enjoyed this one. This is a great scent. Is it something that I need to get, you know, a ton of backups of? Not really, but it's just a good one to have for the end of summer. That's going to kind of relieve me from the more tropical scents, but it's not full on fall yet either. So it's the perfect one to burn right around this time of year. But um, yeah, that is it for today's review. Let me know if you've tried basil leaf and apple from Bath & Body Works. If you have, I would love to hear your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Let me know. Uh, leave me a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.